unique footage of sea monsters attacking ships. How many furious killer whales can attack one ship? What to do if a ferocious shark rushes the ship? And how did the French sailors cope with a kraken attack? Thanks to these moments being filmed, we can find out all the answers and enjoy this epic spectacle. In this episode, I'll show you unique footage of sea monsters attacking ships, boats, and yachts. There will be a lot to see. Let's go! Pod Killer whales, or orcas, are extremely dangerous creatures. They are some of the most powerful and intelligent marine predators, so the inhabitants of the seas and oceans have a hard time. But for humans, orcas are safe. In history, there were no documented cases of killer whale attacks on humans. However, there were several cases of killer whale attacks on ships and yachts. One of such attacks occurred most recently in June of last year. The incident took place in the Strait of Gibraltar. It would be okay if only one orca attacked, but there are about 30 of them. Several dozen fierce predators attacked the British yacht 40 kilometers from the Spanish coast. The monsters rushed onto the rudder of the yacht and turned the ship around. The sailors panicked but managed to take the right decision. They turned off the electrical equipment, lowered the sails, and waited until the predators calmed down. They were lucky. The first attack of killer whales on people in the wild did not take place, but the yacht was damaged. Killer whales sailed away, having bitten off a big piece of the rudder. Well, Don't think that only killer whales are dangerous among cetaceans. As practice shows, not only killer whales attack ships, but also other cetacean species. For example, the southern right whale. In 2010, one of these whales attacked a boat of photo seekers. Jumping out of the water, the 10-meter-long monster landed on the boat of Polona Werner and her partner Rail destroyed the mast and slipped back under the water. Fortunately, that was the end of the attack. Paloma and Ralph were lucky they weren't hurt. The ship, on the other hand, was less fortunate. As in the previous case with the orcas, the whale caused considerable damage, which was estimated at $10,000. By the way, as for the attack, it's not necessary to lump it under general umbrella with the attack of orcas. Orcas are predators by nature, so their motive is clear. But the southern right whale is simply a weak-sighted creature. It moves through the ocean relying mostly on sound, so perhaps the sharp sound of a boat caught its attention and it jumped out of the water in fear. Perhaps the most famous sea monster is the Kraken. According to legends, this huge cephalopod mollusk attacked ships, wrapped its giant tentacles around them, and dragged them to the bottom, where it dealt with the crew. It's possible that all these legends are exaggerated and then, in fact, the ancient sailors did not encounter the kraken, but the giant squid, because this monster sometimes rises to the surface to disturb the sailors. In 2003, French sailors who participated in the circumnavigation of the globe race for the Jules Verne Prize encountered a giant squid. Yachtsman Olivier de Kerosin said that the 8-meter sea creature attacked their yacht and clung to the stern shortly after the team left Brittany. The giant squid used all its strength to pull the boat out to sea. Its tentacles blocked the rudder of the yacht, so the crew couldn't gain any momentum. Isn't that the Kraken? The legendary creature acted exactly the same way. Fortunately, the plot of the legend did not repeat itself. The squid didn't sink the yacht. Sometime later, the monster loosened its grip, unhooked itself from the yacht, and sailed away into the depths of the ocean. Squids, killer whales, all these creatures, although creepy, but they still behave relatively normally and sometimes even friendly in relation to people. The same cannot be said about one of the most dangerous predators of the ocean, sharks. How do sharks attack ships? And what other sea creatures can attack ships, boats, and yachts? Stay tuned! All the answers are further in this episode. Shark The great white shark is one of the most famous sea monsters around the world. This shark is feared by sailors, fishermen, and swimmers alike. And if the situation with swimmers is understandable, why would sailors and fishermen be afraid of these predators? Because sometimes these sharks attack ships, yachts, and boats. That was the experience of a 73-year-old fisherman named Terry Selwood. In 2017, a great white shark nearly 3 meters long and weighing 200 kilograms jumped into the motorboat the fisherman was in. While jumping out, the shark struck Terry with its pectoral fin, injuring him. Needless to say, the fisherman was frightened and panicked. The shark, though on board, was still a threat, so Terry had to climb into the tholeboard in the bow and contact the rescuers. Fortunately, they soon arrived. 
The fisherman was taken off the boat, brought to shore, and given first aid. The shark died on Terry's boat. Shark 2 Okay, everything is clear with the shark jumping out of the water, but what about more obvious attack? There's one in this episode. A couple of years ago, a fisherman, Aaron Pekarski, filmed a great white shark attacking his boat with other people on it. The footage, taken in the Spencer Gulf, South Australia, shows the four-meter-long shark circling around the boat, and then it appears several times on the surface of the water and tries to bite the boat. Eyewitnesses to the attack maintained a calm that occasionally touched on insanity. Pekarski even lowered his camera under the water with the words, let's take a look at its size. Fortunately, the great white shark didn't bite Aaron's hand. It circled near the boat for a few more seconds and soon swam away. Mako Shark Scientists believe that the great white shark, although dangerous, is not as aggressive as the lesser-known ocean predator, the Mako Shark. It's a large and fast predator of the white shark's family, which is famous for its mad temper and poses a great threat to humans. Even when you're on a boat, you cannot be 100% calm because sometimes these sharks attack ships. Such an incident happened in 2017 near New York City. A fishing charter boat was transporting tourists to a fish-rich spot. The first fish arrived on the boat itself. An enraged mako shark attacked the boat by jumping aboard, but luckily got stuck in the railings. Footage shows the dangerous predator shaking its tail, biting the railings, and slamming against the side in a desperate attempt to free itself. In the end, the furious monster was helped by the ship's crew. The fisherman tied a rope around one of the shark's fins and turned it with its face toward the water. As a result, they were able to free the predator and lower it back into the water. When it comes to dangerous animals in the Arctic, the first thing people think of are polar bears. It's understandable. These monsters are indeed extremely dangerous. But we shouldn't forget about other dangerous Arctic creatures – walruses. They weigh about a ton and can boast sharp and long tusks. If such monster will attack, it will not be good. Participants of a joint expedition in the Northern Fleet and the Russian Geographical Society were convinced of this. In 2019, they filmed a walrus attacking their boat near Cape Heller in the Arctic. The footage shows the animal behaving aggressively and trying to attack the inflatable vessel. One of the men tries to drive it away with an oar, after which the boat swiftly sails away. The head of the expedition said that the walrus suddenly attacked them 200 meters from the shore, protecting its babies. First, the predator pierced the bow section of the boat and then the side, but the video didn't capture this moment. The expedition members reached the shore on one inflatable cylinder, scooping the cold water out of the boat. Fortunately, everything turned out all right, and they were soon picked up by a boat that came to the rescue. Needlefish The year 2020 started badly for Muhammad Abdul. The 16-year-old boy from Indonesia went night fishing with his friend Sardi. Sardi's boat sailed first with Muhammad behind it. About 500 meters from the beach, Sardi turned on a flashlight when suddenly a needlefish jumped out of the water. Apparently, it wanted to attack the boat but ended up attacking Muhammad, seriously injuring him in the neck. It was a miracle that the boys were able to swim back to the shore while the 75-centimeter-long needlefish was in Muhammad. Muhammad's father then took him to the hospital where doctors cut the fish off. The boys subsequently had to go to another hospital to have surgery. Five specialists were involved at once as Muhammad's situation was complicated, but fortunately, all ended well. The boy recovered quickly and said that the incident with the fish did not weaken his love for fishing. He said he would now be more careful and not shine flashlights at night so as to not provoke needlefish. That's all, guys. What was the scariest thing that happened to you at the Sierra River? Share your stories in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.